Uh, thank you very much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, today, uh, we will talk about the practical tool for enterprise use of Hyperledger Public. Uh, from me, uh, I will explain audit, and Tatsuya explain the system operations. Um, especially the audit part, uh, you can find the source code uh, in the, this uh, URL. And this work is originally done by uh, Taku Shimosawa, and he will uh, be, uh, he will prepare to present this work, but unfortunately he got full uh, type A, so I'm a proxy, act as a proxy to uh, Taku. Yeah, today uh, I will, we will show you the two uh, tools, uh, blockchain verifier and system operation smart contract. And first one part is blockchain verifier. Uh, the motivation to develop these tools is are uh, the requirement by our uh, regulations. Uh, if we introduce a blockchain system into the financial area or other uh, highly regulated uh, uh, industry, uh, auditing is, uh, uh, is required um, by law or by law. And uh, evidence uh, that the blockchain is properly working and store data is correct, are uh, essential for the use of the uh, blockchain uh, platform. And this discussion is done in uh, JIRA, uh, Hyperledger Fabric JIRA, uh, Fab uh, 105. Uh, you can see uh, those uh, discussions. And uh, local forge of the block or state by the administrator is dangerous. And uh, stored data in the blockchain uh, should not be altered and state or consistent with the blockchain. It's mandatory, but our potential risk is our local administrator can change the block or uh, the current state. So uh, the double check is necessary. On the, uh, some, in some application, double check is necessary on smart contract, uh, especially for the safety critical system or the mission critical systems. Ensure uh, that certain property such as invariants hold the smart contract, especially across the multiple uh, versions. So the uh, goal of the uh, blockchain verifier is to verify the integrity of the ledger and check the uh, perform the additional check in the transaction stored in the ledger and report the evidence of the, those uh, ledgers and transactions. And you can see that the blockchain is stored like this. The data is stored like this. Um, all blocks hold the previous blocks hash and uh, the blockchain verifier need to check the uh, previous uh, next blocks, uh, previous hash and real hash is matching or not. Or uh, all signature is stored, uh, all, you need to check the all signatures stored in the blocks and transactions. And also uh, the transaction need to be checked, uh, the properly executed. For example, input is correct or output is correct. And, and also the blockchain verifier need to report their uh, verif verification result as an evidence, like the uh, blocks are okay or uh, transactions are okay. And what kind of property need to be checked? Uh, uh, immutability, uh, which means data do not, uh, not modified from those are uh, uh, obtained in the consensus, or the consensus must be checked. All participants agree on the blocks or transactions. And also the uh, consistency, uh, all transactions are shared liable is important, and uh, correctness, the smart contract uh, correctly executed is important. And uh, we need to consider the level of the uh, checks. I mean, 
the platform level check is of course mandatory. Uh, we need to check their all blocks and transaction. But at the same time, uh, considering audit, the application level is also important. Um, depending on the application or smart contract, uh, additional check is necessary. And of course, this part is uh, done by application developers or uh, system users. Uh, we cannot uh, provide the direct check check uh, functions, but uh, we provide some APIs to uh, easily write the uh, application checker. So um, the, for the platform level check, uh, immutability, uh, consensus, consistency, and correctness need to be checked. And uh, in application level, uh, consensus, uh, for, uh, which means endorsement policies are fulfilled or not. Or the application specific check like state or transaction or sometimes uh, the other system um, compatibility or uh, correctness need to be checked. And considering application level check, check logic is of, of course to be written by application developers. Uh, for example, uh, run all logic equivalent to their smart contract, but different code sometimes. And check an invariant in the contract. Uh, for example, uh, the sum of input e are equal to uh, a sum of output or something. And perform the additional check against the external system. Uh, the blockchain system is connecting to outside system the consistency between two systems need to be checked. And uh, blockchain verifier provides their API to access the key transactions for the, the check logic and invoke the uh, logic after uh, platform level checks. Uh, interface is like this. Uh, to traverse the transaction, uh, implement up transaction checker interface like this, yeah, TX uh, get input, TX uh, get output, TX get state. And to traverse uh, keys, implement up state checker interface. Uh, state get keys, state get value, state uh, key value get history. So you can check the history also. And I will explain the uh, example of the the application level check. Um, if you are familiar with the uh, Hyperledger Fabric, Hyperledger Fabric has a lot of smart contract example. Fabka is one of them. And uh, function in Fabka, uh, Fabka contains a creator car and a change car owner. And create car uh, act as the add a car into the ledger. And change owner try to change the car owner. So uh, if you consider the checker for this fab car, uh, create, uh, create car do not change any other key than uh, for the new car. And change owner do not change any other key than that for target car. And um, we found that a serious bug in the box of the bad example. C current create car do not check the overwrite of the same key. So uh, the create car call to, you can uh, overwrite the uh, create car uh, with the same key and overwrite their uh, result. So we need to fix this bug. <coughs> And uh, blockchain verifier overview is like this. Um, currently, uh, the blockchain verifier is a pluggable framework, and we've already uh, implemented Hyperledger Fabric uh, ledger file plugin and Hyperledger Fabric query plugin. And if you write the Hyperledger Indie plugin, yeah, blockchain verifier works for Indie, or of course, Sotus, Iroha. Uh, as a platform we can support. And also, uh, lo check logic is uh, implemented. Hyperledger fabric block and Hyperledger fabric transaction is already implemented. 
and um, we appreciate your contribution for the HyperJD or other platform support. And also, we provide the application check APIs. And so the block, uh, blockchain verifier is plugin-based uh, design. So uh, we, uh, the, it allows the uh, support for multiple blockchain platforms. And uh, currently, we only support the hyperledger fabric. Um, but uh, we highly appreciate uh, your contribution to the, for the plugin for other platforms. And uh, current implementation is a blockchain verifier uh, version 0 0.2.0. And you can find it in the uh, GitHub. And uh, this uh, blockchain verifier is already approved at uh, Hyperledger Lab uh, project uh, last month. So uh, you can also find uh, these tools in the Hyperledger homepage. And uh, currently, we, our uh, uh, blockchain verifier supports very basic function, verification of the hyperledger fabric blocks, and uh, read write set for the private data is, private data means side, de side DB data is already also supported, and uh, verification of hyperledger trans fabric transaction and appreciation specific checkers uh, API. And license is under uh, Apache 2.0. And uh, if you try to use this hyperledger uh, uh, blockchain verifier, uh, input is like this: uh, the block files, or network profile, or cryptographic artifact. And the output example is like this. Currently, very very simple. A uh, report is are uh, uh, yeah, executed. So the uh, open discussion or future work is uh, report format is very difficult for us. Currently, very simple output we put, but uh, we need to comply some regulation or um, standard format for something. And evidence format is also need to be discussed. Uh, so some formal language to be used to describe uh, what to check or something, or similar test framework, uh, but need to clearly what are compared or performed in some formal way. Yeah. And also, current um, application level check API is very, very simple. Is this sufficient or what we need to be uh, implement additionally? Anyway, uh, the blockchain verifier is now available in the GitHub. Please, uh, work, uh, I, we are appreciate uh, your suggestion, contribution, or comment. Okay, thank you very much. From now, <coughs> sorry. From now on, I, Tatsuya Sato, make a short presentation about smart contract-based system operations for blockchain-based systems. Here is the background of Lata Part toward production uses of blockchain-based systems. The system operation became more important. An example of system operation is upgrading a smart contract and application. Another one is taking a snapshot of of ledger data. We assume a single blockchain-based system is built across multiple management domain, like this, for example, data center of each organization. Also, each domain has separated administrators. Uh, this system configuration makes it difficult to execute inter-organizational system operations which need to collaborate with other organizations. For example, deploying the same smart contract over the blockchain network. So this type of operation is specialized for blockchain-based systems. And we believe uh, this is a common problem uh, for blockchain-based systems, not just for uh, hyperledger fabric. Let me break down the problem. 
there are conventional operation management tools like job management servers, IEC tools, and so on. They enable admins to do general operations efficiently. However, they do not cover with inter-organizational operations. Again, this type is specialized for blockchain-based systems. Now, let's think about how to execute inter-organizational operations. First possible way is a single admin operates all nodes like this. However, uh, the way has a problem because the admin becomes single point of trust in the blockchain network. Also, the admin cannot access to nodes owned by other organizations because of lack of permissions. Another way is each organization's administrator operates their own node. In this way, a gap of operation like procedures, triggers, and config parameters would be happened. Such different config may prevent the system from, from working. So, to solve the problems, we proposed an operations execution method named smart contract based system operation. The primary idea is to define system operational flow as a smart contract. The proposed smart contract refers to operation smart contract or of smart contract. The proposal method enables cross-domain operations without a single point of trust and without sharing credentials powered by blockchain consensus establishment. Also, the method enables uh, unified procedures with unified config parameters powered by smart contract. In the proposal method, uh, operational procedure like command and operation timing and config parameter uh, defined as a smart contract. This is a smart contract. When uh, the nodes receive invocation transaction of the of smart contract. Each node establishes consensus each other, and the nodes share parameters and control workflow over the of smart contract. Then, uh, each node executes system operations based on the of smart contract. As a result, operations are unified among multiple organizations. We have a demonstration of, of smart contract for new chain code life cycle in Hyperledge Fabric version 2.0 in our booth. Uh, this is the overview. So please drop in at uh, the Hitachi booth in the third floor to see the demonstration. Uh, here is related work and our future work. Fabric interop working group aims to promote the interoperability of fabric network service. They are focusing on a scenario that new organization joins a learning fabric network. And the approach is to create artifact for the join request with consortium management chain code. So the concept is very similar with our words, also the scope is slightly different. Our smart contract could be positioned as a form or application of their proposed uh, consortium management chain code. In future, we will expand the proposal method implementation to support various operations. And also, we plan to upstream them to the Hyperledge public community. Uh, this is uh, that's all our presentation. If you have uh, any question and uh, comment, please come to our booth. Thank you for listening.